So we were doing a rescue, a hoist rescue. Uh, we do a lot of them, uh, and it was a normal rescue. Uh, sometimes when we bring the helicopter up uh, from the ground, uh, it, it will start to spin. So we have a, a line attached to the basket to help prevent that. Uh, today it didn't. Um, the basket started to spin. It's a, something that's a known phenomenon in the hoist uh, rescue industry. Uh, so we we trained for it. We did a, a couple of uh, procedures to help stop it, mitigate it, and be able to eventually get her um, into the basket. They tried to stop some of the spin with the line that Paul was referring to, but that didn't work and it actually eventually broke. So we brought it down again, brought it back up, hoping some of the spin would lessen, which it didn't obviously. So the next, next and last step was just to get some forward flight, which I did. And once I got the forward flight, even though the low was still, I don't know exactly how far, because I don't, I didn't have, wasn't looking at the readout. But once we got the forward flight, uh, the spin got quite a bit less to the point where they were safely able to bring the, the patient up to the aircraft, and we, we could land. And our landing zone was probably not much more than a half a mile from where she was uh, uh, hurt. So.